fantasy route with Australian style scenery set in the modern day era. The route is a bit of everything. That consists of a city, suburb section, triple double track track system, parallel signalling. Also a single coastal line runs through small towns with crossing loops and old freight sidings. So yeah, we'll just I think I'll just pick something British and maybe steam. Let's have a look at the map, see if we can find some track. There we go. Oh wow, this looks interesting. Oh, <laughs> just realised <laughs> I've done the screen up. There you go. <laughs> this is the map of the of the route. See here, saying, "Oh, that looks interesting," and everyone's like, "What? What? What? Share it! Wait, hey!" I suppose everyone isn't shouting. Not steam. Is an Aussie freight mostly American? That's actually that's true. If this is Aussie freight, let's. Quite a lot of passenger stuff down the bottom here. Up to West Avenue. And then the passenger stuff seems to die off. He recommends a pacer. Nice trolley fodder. I think a pacer sounds like a grand idea. So let's just stick the cursor there. Click the update button. Wait for the scenery to all load in, and then we'll see. We'll try and find a place to have a look, uh, to drive a train. That's rather nice. Rather pleasant run down the coast. So if we were to run that way round the coast. Gets us to WA platform. Uh, I haven't updated the title yet, so UK, hang on. This is called, this is a workshop route, it's called Old Coastline. Uh, and it is by Bradillo. Bradillo? Bradillo. So I think what I'm going to do is starting about here. And I'm going to treat it like a UK route. Because it looks like it's left hand signalling. That's bi directional by the looks of it. Okay. And what have we got in the way of already enabled trains? NJT, NJC. Fair bit of American stuff. Hmm. Uh, hang on a second. Dum 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 dum. Be right with you, folks. When I can find it, where are you gone? Aha. 
Ah, that might warm a little bit more. This is going to be the perfect train. Hang on a second. Um, there you go. This is the perfect train to look at this route. So, we're not going to be able to look at all of the route, I don't think. Let's just see how long it will take us to get to here. Fifteen minutes. Oh, that's not bad. In which case, how long will it take us to get to uh, here? Forty-eight. I can live with that. That gets us a, long, a run around the entire of the route. Right, LV Platform 2. The sheer awfulness. <laughs> Right, we will need to escape and restart. And just check to see what the uh, state of the signalling is. Oh, I see, it's going to run me up that way. Oh, that's fine. Actually, I don't know which way it's going to run. That will work by the looks of it. Let's see what happens, shall we? What's the worst that can happen? Oh, that's not a manual junction. Yeah, I got my right I've still got the one four the the one four two pack installed on this machine. That's why it sounds different. Unless Steam Verify has fixed it. Oh, the AP sound pack has gone, has it? Why red light? According to this, there isn't a red light. You know what? We'll go anyway. Tea time. So while the train is on that way, we'll go this way and have a look around the coast. This is really awesome, actually. There's a lot of attention to the scenery gone on here. Can you make the pump car movable AI? I haven't a clue, actually, Flying Scotsman. Have you tried it and it doesn't work? What would be really good, as a general suggestion to anyone making a workshop route, is to, um, in the description of the route, put um, put a suggestion of what kind of trains and consists you think should be run on it. This is really lovely. I love this. It's awesome. So much detail on this station.
Middletown. Yeah, the inland route was a mistake. I didn't realise I was. I didn't spot that it was doing that. My intention was to take the coastal route, but. <coughs> Yeah, so people, if you make routes, put some suggested stock and consists based on the stuff that's out there by default. Just so that people can run it and have a uh, a reasonably, uh, even if not authentic experience, because if there is no Australian stock, then what can you do? Um, this is, look at this city. Four kilometer long HST. <laughs> More man, have you seen the video where someone made a scenario for me which was um, something like eight pacers coupled together to run on Faversham line to upgrade javelin services? <laughs> Tremendous amount of detail over here. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing some scenarios for this route. This is fantastic. I am looking forward to some scenarios on this route. I really am. Where are we right now? Oh, I see. We've just come around that way. Come up through this, past the yard here. Requires a lot of DLC. Does I've not looked at the DLC. Let's just have a look. European local and asset pack, US local and asset pack, uh, North Jersey coastline, Sherman Hill, uh, Colton and Northern, East Coast Mainline, London, Peterborough, Racetrack, Aurora, Chicago, North and Southern Coal District, and the West Highland Line extension. So there is, yeah, there is a fair bit there. But it looks like the assets have been well used. Uh, Johnny Rotten, why doesn't Dovetail make uh, Aussie or New Zealand train some routes? I guess because there's only so many hours in the day. I mean, it seems like a simple answer, but there's, uh, there's, there's demand for every country, and the company would need to be a hundred times bigger to deliver everything everyone wants. I guess that's the entry up to the yard over there. I'm going to get a nasty message from Bradillo later on, probably. What? You ran a what on my route? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm running Old Coastline Modernised. This is Old Coastline Modernised. A rat for our waste possible in TS? I don't know, actually. I mean, you could fake it. I mean, you can't actually do rat for our waste as a thing, but you can do... Uh... Yeah, this is Old Coastline Modernised. Uh, but you can do a loco with massive power. 
and then put a rack asset down the middle of the track. Let's have a look at this yard over here that looks rather snazzy. It's like a TMD of some sort. Steam servicing. So is this a steam era route then I wonder? Or is this transitional? Well, that's a lot of signals all bunched up together. Called modernized so it's not steam. But we're going up and over some the other line maybe. This is really nice. Really nice touch. It is a transitional era route, isn't it? coming down under there. Oh no, that's road. <laughs> but humbug roads. Up fly back to the stream. That's fine. Good to have you back. We'll see you when you're able to get here. Another line disappearing off over there. Where's it going? Comes back again. Interesting. That's that bit there, isn't it? This is a fictional route, apparently. Wow. Fictional routes are hard. People don't think... Until you do a fictional route, you don't appreciate how, how hard it is, because you haven't got anything to... You know, nothing's helping you. You've got to figure it all out by yourself. You'd think it'd be easy, because you haven't got to be a slave to reality. It's actually harder because you've got nothing to be uh, a slave to at all. Robbie53, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Car park avoider. <laughs> So we're going to come around and then we're going to make... So we've got a bit of a bit more complexity coming up at the moment. Still got actual only FS15 coming in the future. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to see what they say when I... Because I've just applied for partnership again. I'm going to see what they say and uh, then make a decision. Uh, Cameron's Gaming, I've got your message. Thank you. Look at this! That's epic! This coastal line over here, look, following this. That coastal line. 
That that needs to be a little steam route, doesn't it? Captain Jinx, thank you for the host, and welcome to Captain Jinx viewers. This is where we join up with the coastal line. Wow, I'm glad I took a look at this route. This is amazing. Double yellow. Signalling is not quite right. There's something not quite right with the signal. Junction. Down here. Fantastic. Ha! <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, we've got a 25 limit coming up. And a red signal. Come up to it, and then we can. Uh... That's it. It's approach control. We're switching over. Oh, it's because we're crossing over the coast branch. No, never use tab unless it's a last resort, because tab is very nasty. <laughs> tab does nasty things to the system. Right, we're winding our way up this uh, coastline now. Webs Racing, thank you for the host. Much appreciated. Now the gradients are going to get crazy. Oh yeah, look at this. Silverwood Actual, thank you for the host, much appreciated. Look, 162 according to this now. Can we break 200 people? Can we break 200? For the first time I think ever in a normal stream.
bit of fern bus action going on down there. I know this 24 hour stream did, but that's cheating. Oh, it's the normal streams that need to start seeing over 200. <clears throat> Particularly when you've got someone like... Uh... Oh yeah, we see, we've been higher than 162 I think last week or the week before, it was up to 180 or something. Nice little details on this route. And it is the little details that really bring it out. Now we're roller coastering it down. Hey, Rock Ryan, welcome. bridge. I don't even remember where that bridge comes from. It's awesome. Huh. You see how sets you just don't even remember from other routes. map to see where it is in reality. Robbie53, this route is um, the uh, old coastline modernised. It's a workshop route. Crazy gradients. As the man promised. It'd be quite fun with the steam engine because you wouldn't be able to take your eye off it. Think we found the coastline? No, no, that's hills. <laughs> right, falling down a three percent down. Scenery is definitely thinning out as we head out into the country.
what you need to know is a nice Aussie local, isn't it? Is there a passenger view? Yeah, there's a passenger view on this. Something going on over there. Oh, hello. Some sort of old facility. Looks like it's abandoned. The Bay of Garrett, yes. Oh, yes, the Bay of Garrett would be very nice indeed. Dovetail should do a Eurostar, some Pancras to Lille and Belgium. <laughs> That's a very long route. <laughs> Lille, Lille to Belgium is 80 miles. So that's effectively a route in and of itself. Little details like the, um, the bars down the middle there. Climbing 2% now. See you later, Tom Lutty. Yes, I should be streaming tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Oh man, you want London some pancreas to Ashford. Yeah, that'd be kind of nice. Someone should do that, just take the London Faversham line and just extend the line 30 odd miles down and put it as a workshop route. I say just. <laughs> nice, look at that. Attention to detail, putting all them rocks in there. Really cool. Now we're uh, falling off a cliff again. It's not even that high speed tunnel, Arnold, to be honest. It's not you can only do 160 kilometers an hour through the Euro tunnel. No, I didn't ever do the write-up on the um, on the rail driver to the brake, and I need to do that because it doesn't quite work the way I described it. So uh, I need to do that. I owe Shazam a, a, a look into that as well. Farm there, look. Farming simulator built into the game. How long is this for left first GWR? Well, we're actually making good progress now, I think. We are here, and we need to get to here. It reckons somewhere in the order 20 minutes. Is there a route? Is my local station Gillingham? Yes, it is. Uh, is there a route from London Euston? No, not yet. We found the coast. Woot. Web tracing. Yes, I am going to get farming some 17. Oh wow, even changing the road look so that it's got the uh, do not overtake um, on it. Oh, 
losing speed. We're going up the 2%. We're only losing it slowly. Keep going. Medway Viaduct. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Ben Tolman, if you reinstalled the game and a route has disappeared, I would strongly suggest you drop a note over to um, Dovetail and get them to have a look into it for you. you definitely, if you owned it, you should never need to rebuy it again. Don't do that. Um, they'll be able to find out what the problem is for you, hopefully. Go to dovetailgames.kyoko.com. Uh, web tracing, I'll be getting it on PC. We're speeding up again. Yeah, the worry lines over to Sheringham are good and throw the North Norfolk Railway in just for good measure. Ooh, pretty nice use of the bridge here. Look at that view! You know, if I owned a house there, I'd feel so cheated that the trains were just out of sight. I'd have to install a webcam out there. Pushing up to 50 as we make our way up to the next leg of the hill. Really good use of assets. I have to say, they look like they fit beautifully. They're them, they don't look like they've been, um, you know, sort of made to fit. They, the the route has been built around the assets. It looks really nice, like everything was made custom for it. Build a taller house, yeah, that's the other thing. Move the house closer, that's another way of doing it. Or a webcam. Feels like a cheaper option. Then I wouldn't have to get off my backside. <laughs> hey, 50 plus gamer, welcome sir. Folks, 50 plus gamer is another good uh, streamer, does trains, trucks and so forth. Go and give him a shoot him a follow. Watching him at the weekend, great fun. Forty limit. I am not taking my my foot off the throttle. I don't care what you say. To where you go, falling off and down the hill. Oh my word, this hill. Oh my word. <laughs> Fantastic. Looks like super elevation. Look at this, this is fantastic. It's that burning smell, yeah. <laughs>
How did your um, truck stream go on um, Sunday, 50 plus? Go on, Daniel. Ah. Uh, I'm, I'm still working on super elevation tutorial. <laughs> a bit like the uh, the overhead catenary tutorial. It hasn't been forgotten. Just got a lot to do at the moment. Super elevation is not complicated. Doing the right super elevation at the right times in the right places, that's a bit more complicated, and that's more what I want to show. The actual you creating super elevated curves is dead easy. Um, but creating a random super elevated curve doesn't help you use it in a group. A bit of vertigo at this point. Looks like a bit of a bridge. Fifty plus game. Well, what camera mod am I using? At the moment, I'm not actually using anything. But what I have done is um, there's a a launch parameter you can use which sets the field of view back. Um, ping me a Twitch message and I will um, just drop you some instructions on how to do it. Um, it's um, you do a dash set FOV command and you can just pump ping the field view back to, to this. Otherwise than that I'm not using anything. I do have track IR but I've not I forgot to switch it off. <laughs> Whoa look at the waterfall Oh that is epic Shame that the water doesn't reflect properly at distance. Um, probably should think about slowing down a bit. A lot. <laughs> How long must this have taken? Jeez. This is still down as whip, I think, Rob Adam.
Arnold, maybe you should team up with him to uh, do scenarios. Hey, 50 plus, good, no problem at all. You keep it up as well, mate. It's uh, Like I said, everybody, go make sure you go and throw uh, 50 plus gamer a follow. Um, well worth a watch. Right, 50 limit. We're off of the uh, the double horseshoe now. LV Platform 2, is that the end of the line? Yes, LV Platform 2 is where we are going to. Yeah, full service madness here. This is amazing, isn't it? Brad hello, sir. I take my virtual hat off to you. In fact, in a minute, I'm going to put a hat on just so I can take it off. Look at that. I wonder if that's the roundhouse from Springfield. station there. Let's just have a quick fly. We've got uh, the route just goes over here. Hang on, it carries on going. There is more to it, except there's lack of scenery there, really. Still prettiness going on here, look. That's the end of this bit of the route, anyway. Just we've got some more stuff going on over here. Uh, and it merges back over with that bit up there. It doesn't really go too far up there before you get to the north portal. There's no... Yeah, end of route is marked there. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, before we end... One second... I have to put a hat on, you see. I'll put my squirrel hat on. So that, sir, I take my hat off to you. Fantastic. Right. <clears throat> that was really good. That was really, really good. Right. You could also take your webcam. Thanks, Simon. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Well done, Bradlow. Very well done. Really, really enjoyed that. Um, where is it? That's the plan I'm looking for. We're doing a Riva takeover now. Don't I have a tier cell cap? No, I don't. I need to sort out some merchandise stuff. I've always got millions of other things to do. Right, let us sort out... Uh, a river takeover. <laughs>